dryer. I think he slammed into the jet dryer. They're trying to clear debris off the racetrack, and the car brakes, won't steer, and he slides up the track and into the back of that surplus helicopter jet engine on a trailer used to dry the racetrack. Uh, Mike, I saw sparks coming out from the car as if it had a tire down or something. What an incredible turn of events I've never, I've never in my life. Oh my gosh. And all that spilled jet fuel found something hot to ignite it. Safety workers quickly on the scene. And this is a bizarre twist to this Daytona 500. Down in turn number three. Well, I've seen a lot of things, but I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this. That fuel is just running right down. That's a, that thing's full of fuel. They keep them full all the time. I just wonder what it's going to do to the racetrack. Well, here comes the fire crew. You see the red truck bottom of the screen. They've got to get that out because that fire could damage the racing surface. That's what I was thinking. I mean, you got fuel that's on fire. Uh, it could eat that asphalt right up. It is commonplace for track safety, rescue, track drying vehicles to circulate the track under a caution flag. Drivers must maintain reasonable speed while catching up the pack and avoid those emergency vehicles. They're brightly lit and everything. That's easy to do when you can be under control of your race car. I just wonder if Montoya was going down the back, catching up with the field, and he didn't know the safety truck was up there. They called him on the radio and said, watch that safety truck, and the car darted hard right. I Something had the, to happen. I saw sparks underneath. The car yep. broke, and I don't believe he had steering control. I don't either. I mean, the looked, car went up the track. When you see the sparks come out from the car, it just looks like it had a flat tire or something happened to it. I don't know how many gallons of jet fuel that thing holds, but I guarantee you it's got several gallons in it, several, probably 100. Track personnel exited uh, that cleanup truck very quickly after the collision and walked away. That, that's got to be that's got to be eating the track up. I just wonder what it's going to do to it, Larry. Yeah, that's uh, that fire has been burning for quite a while now. And let's reiterate Juan Pablo Montoya climbed from his car and walked quickly away. The car destroyed. He is all right and trying to get what is now a jet fuel fire under control blazing in turn number three but Darrell, I keep going back we just had gotten a report they were telling me in my ear that Montoya had a bad vibration in every gear he was putting it in so something was going on with that 42 car the race has been red flag that means the cars have been stopped well away from the turn three scene they've been red flagged on the back straightaway and you're looking at what happens when 200 gallons of jet fuel meet a spark or something very hot after a collision like that. Yeah, that thing just burst into flame. I mean, it was unbelievable. Still trying to get it under control. And, and you know, I, I would say maybe they could drive it down off the track but if you look the pass the driver's door is caved in uh i don't think you can even get in the vehicle if you were brave enough to try it now we've just had pit stops everyone from fifth place on back has stopped dave blaney did not pit under this caution along with landon castle tony Raines, and david gilliland they are the race leaders as we are under the red flag blaney driving for the Tom Baldwin Jr. team. Castle with a brand new ride and Reigns who just got a ride a few weeks ago into the Daytona 500 with teammate to Gilliland at Front Row Motorsports. They are the race leaders under this red flag for a bizarre incident entering turn number three. When Indy 500 at Monaco Grand Prix winner won Pablo Montoya went down the back straightaway. Something on the car broke from the sparks underneath. 
lost control of the steering and slid up into the trailer uh, that held that jet helicopter engine, which was blowing debris off the racetrack while we were under caution. Yeah, as far as the drivers that pitted, Matt Kenseth in the 17, who had been leading, he won the battle off pit road. Just, look I mean, at, that car is destroyed. Mont look yes. at Montoya's car. More fire trucks going to the scene. Now that's the front of the race car. Uh, it hit the trailer, which went up in the air, and the race car pretty much submarined underneath it. It's the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. Watch Montoya's car on this replay as we try to discern what may have broken. Here, as we're under car. Here he comes back here. You can see him coming. Jet dryer's up high. He sees the, the safety truck flashing its lights. Sparks fly. And around he goes. Here's a, here's a different angle. See the safety trucks up top? I mean, it just exploded. When it hit it, it just exploded. And he was traveling at a high rate of speed, oh, yeah. trying to catch back trying up to catch with up the, the field. back of the field. Montoya climbs away, and the driver of the safety truck was helped from his vehicle, walked down the banking, and away. We have some audio from Juan Pablo Montoya. back to Montoya's pit stop prior to this and a lot of work going on under the car Larry yeah evidently you know he was talking about maybe the vibration and everything